Calls for Biden to step aside are growing increasingly louder. This time, though, it's coming from lawmakers who are concerned about Congress. What did you learn? Yeah, there's a, uh, a draft letter that's uh, prepared for signing, has not been uh, uh, sent out, uh, but it is being circulated uh, from safe seat Democrats. These are Democrats from traditionally uh, safe seats, non-competitive areas. This unders underscores that it's just not people worried about losing their elections who are concerned about Biden uh, staying on the ticket, uh, but those who likely would, will be reelected and concerned about the state of Congress as a, as a way to uh, put a break on perhaps a Trump presidency. Uh, you know, Billy, this is such an unusual situation, obviously. Uh, I can't um, ever remember in my many years on this planet of the House Democrats actually moving against a president like this. Do we have any sense of who will be the signers of this letter? I mean, it, could it be a Nancy Pelosi type of person to actually sign on to this? I think it's far more likely uh, to, to be uh, senior uh, Democratic lawmakers, again, from safe seats, who are concerned about uh, uh, status uh, on, on committees, on, on, way, on legislation, and on ability to block uh, the White House, a Trump White House, uh, from ramming through uh, uh, things. Uh, uh, these are probably uh, veteran lawmakers, uh, and uh, uh, the, the question is, will they pull the trigger and actually send this letter? and or will something else happen to uh, to prevent that billy is the concern here that that trump will become president and that republicans will control congress also is this a last ditch effort at this point to have a, well, a congress that is not in the same party as the president well the concern is that both the senate and the house would fall because of a uh, a Biden candidacy that uh, that would uh, uh, derail uh, down ballot candidacies, and uh, and the fact that uh, uh, Democrats are fearful of uh, of a White House and Congress totally dominated by Republicans running this country. Yeah, you know, Billy, I, I wonder. Uh, you mentioned will they really pull the trigger? I mean, is is them leaking this news uh, to you sort of? enough to get that message across to Biden? Do you think that's part of the, the plan, is just to make it clear to Biden that this this is something they're willing to do? Uh, could be the case, but we do know that uh, 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 Biden's hearing some of these concerns. In fact, he, he called the House Minority Leader uh, Hakeem Jeffries for a second uh, time yesterday for a very, what was described as a very personal talk, very private talk, and uh, House Democrats, a group of them, got together for some legislative discussion yesterday, but that devolved into a uh, fear fest, panicky uh, gripe session about uh, what happens if, if Biden sticks around. Well, so what happens if he doesn't, though? That's, that's I think, a, a, a big question as well. There's no, as, as Mike mentioned, that hasn't happened in our lifetimes that this late in a, in a candidacy, a president, a sitting president, has decided not to continue, or even a presumptive nominee has decided to not to continue. You go back to 1968 and Lyndon Johnson, but that was back in March when he decided not to pursue the presidency. It was before the, the um, primaries. Um, Billy, what, what happens if he were to step aside? Well, that's the big question. Uh, of course, Hubert Humphrey didn't fare well back in 68 uh, when Johnson withdrew late in the game. Uh, uh, there are all kinds of scenarios, and none, nobody really knows for sure whether Kamala Harris, the vice president, would simply uh, be the choice, or there would be an open convention, or or what exactly would happen, and that's, uh, or whether it would actually be a boost for Democrats to drop Biden uh, this late in the game. Well, wow, Billy, uh, what a tremendous scoop on this letter, uh, potentially from House Democrats. Um, how do you see it all playing out? I mean, uh, your guess is as good as anyone's. Is is this kind of look like the last straw for Biden, uh, th this type of thing happening? It's really hard to tell, but I would suspect he has, uh, and others have suggested, that he really has just a matter of days to turn this around uh, with performances at public events or uh, uh, an interview on ABC, but uh, this is this pressure on him is moving faster than many many expected, and uh, people are now talking just days uh, 
for him to do something dramatically uh, to show that he's he's fit and and ready to stay on board with this uh, campaign. Billy, what did you see shift in in recent days? Because uh, as soon as the debate ended and and everybody realized it was a political catastrophe for the sitting president, you did have a lot of folks come out with what seemed like um, very manicured statements, including former President mm -hmm. Obama, who worked closely with with Biden for eight years, um, and others as well, sort of mounting this uh, defensive that seemed very coordinated. But something shifted in recent days. Well, whether something shifted or something didn't happen that they had asked to happen, I, I, I mean, certainly the White House and the Biden campaign and the president himself had been asking Democrats to keep their powder dry in terms of calls for him to withdraw, to give him time to show that uh, uh, that was uh, uh, that shaky debate performance was was not really uh, the best uh, 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 picture of where he and how he can perform. But uh, instead of really coming out forcefully in these these few days, yeah. he asked, he has not done that.